Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we calculated the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. In this video, we will calculate the trigonometric ratios of 0 degrees and 90 degrees with Rahul. We know that Rahul has a right angle triangle LMN where angle L is an acute angle. Suppose its value is theta. We calculate the value of sin theta, cos theta and tan theta with the help of the right angle triangle LMN. Then we get the value of sin theta as MN upon LN. The value of cos theta is LM upon LN and the value of tan theta is MN upon LM. But if we slowly reduce the theta angle of right angle triangle LMN, then we see that the length of side MN also reduces accordingly. And at last we see that the point N comes so near to point M that the value of angle theta reaches near to 0 degrees. Then length of side LN remains similar to the length of side LM. Then can you tell what will be the value of sine 0 degrees, cos 0 degrees and tan 0 degrees in this condition? Well done! From the above condition, we see that the value of side MN is 0 and side LN is equal to side LM. So, with the help of equation 1, we can say that The value of trigonometric ratios of sine 0 degrees, cos 0 degrees and tan 0 degrees are 0, 1 and 0 respectively. If we talk about the value of cosec 0 degrees, then according to the above situation, we get the value undefined because dividing a number by 0 gives an undefined value. Similarly, the value of cot 0 degrees will also be undefined and the value of sec 0 degree is equal to 1. But right now we also have to know about the trigonometric ratio of 90 degrees. So, let's go to talk about the above right angle triangle. As we reduce the value of angle theta in the above situation, similarly here, we increase the angle theta until the value of angle theta is equal to 90 degrees. That is, the angle N becomes smaller as the angle theta becomes larger. That is, the length of the side LM decreases. And finally, we see that point L comes so close to point M that the angle theta is very close to 90 degrees. And at the same time, the value of angle N is also almost 0 degree, where side LN coincides side MN. In this situation, we can say that the length of side LM will be approximately 0. Therefore, to find trigonometric ratio, of sine 90 degrees and cos 90 degrees are obtained 1 and 0 respectively. But the value of tan 90 degrees is undefined. Similarly, 
if we talk about cosec, sec and cot 90 degrees, then values of cosec and cot 90 degrees are 1 and 0 respectively. And the value of sec 90 degrees is undefined. Let us display the values of trigonometric ratios of all the acute angles by a table. Today, we discussed trigonometric ratios of 0 and 90 degrees in this video. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on trigonometric ratios.